Good day, good day, guys. Good, good day. This is Kenzo. This is Kenzo. Mm. Welcome, welcome to the channel, guys. If maybe you are new, please smash that subscribe button, like share with your friends. Mm, it's still early in the morning, uh, but it's not really early. It's ten o'clock. So what's really happening, guys? Um, at the moment, as I'm uh, I'm speaking, uh, we just killing Nasdaq. You can see that. We just killing Nasdaq. I just sent that signal. Um, uh, maybe an hour ago. Yeah, I think an hour ago. Now they are eating. That's why we say you should join the team. Mm. If you still remember yesterday, actually we were supposed to. Um, eat this thing are very nice, guys. This popcorns. Mm. I have something. I don't know if, if you can see them. I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As early in the morning like this. So, what's really happening on the market? Sorry uh, to waste your time, but it's fine, guys. Uh, what's really happening here is the market is pushing up. The market is pushing up. Uh, actually, lucky enough, I saw the market. Uh, the, the time I was sending the signal, the market was here. And the pending order was there. You know we deal with pending orders. You see? So, yeah. Let me go back and start with the German, German 40. But before I do that... Uh, okay, okay, that's great. That's great. Let me do this. Let me go back on 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 German thirty. On German thirty, and let's see what we can do. Mm, yeah, we there. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, now you can see nicely. So for those guys who wants to, yo, 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 this thing is also pushing up. This thing is also flying, guys. This thing is also flying, guys. Uh, don't forget that later on we gonna go on the live sessions. Unfortunately, uh, we can't go on the evenings because there is always load shading, guys. And the power, when there's load shading, uh, yes, the internet can be on, but the laptops and the screen that I'm using, unfortunately, they can't. So, what's really happening on German 30 or German 40? Um... Before I continue, please, for those who want to join the team, because sometimes I forget. Here, it's my contacts. You can just post the video. Post the video. Yeah, I think you've done that. Mm. What's really happening on German Day 2? You can see that the market was on a downtrend. Downtrend means that the market was pushing lower. Guess what? The market uh, was tired because it's been a long time going lower. Uh, you can see that we had a very nice breakout. The breakout uh, was very straightforward. We had this breakout, a nice retest. And guess what? We killed it. I think it was yesterday. I think it's, yeah, I think it's yesterday. I sent that signal. You can see if maybe they were still holding. Obviously, they also made some made some uh, also like they even maybe touch their that that take profit so where can we buy this thing because it seems like it's actually pushing higher and higher so what's really going to happen here is uh, the market might not create a usual uh, usual uh, rejection because the market is still on a very strong bullish momentum so what are we going to have here or what are we going to do is we're just going to wait for the market to create a small rejection and we're going to draw a resistance line above that if that's like something like that here so if that if the market pushes above that it's what we can say okay since the market was respecting that area several times then uh, once the market moves above that is where we can say let's have our buy pending order but at the moment unfortunately we can just jump on the market i know structures like this sometimes they they are very visible on a bit smaller time frame like 15 minutes mostly you will find something very nice or interesting but what i see is i can see something like this here do you see that but it's very thick it's very thick but it's something like that mm, it's something like that we can even see another one here do you see that 
I see something there. So around there, we also had something. So it means the market, once the market breaks out of that, we were going to be aware of that. Once the market breaks out of that, we were going to be aware of that. And we, when the, we continue buying with the trend, we don't really have that strict rule like you waiting for a candlestick to close and stuff like that nope why because we are on that trend we only look for that when the market actually uh, actually just breaking out of a trend so when the market breaking out here it's not breaking any trend it's just continue with the trend so our rules they become very soft when something like that happens so what is going to happen is if maybe, for example, if maybe the market wants to reject around that area, we can say, okay, uh, once the market rejects around this area, when it pushes up, we can have a buy there. You see, even if maybe it's on the middle of a candlestick, like here, if maybe the market was starting to push up, we can say, let's buy there. Because why we buy there? Because it shows that, you know what, this thing is continuing. We only buy. We, we can only stop when maybe the market is not breaking that. Why? Because the market might create something like this, you see, before pushing up. Something like this, something like this before pushing up. So for us to buy above that support area, that resistant area, is to avoid these rejections. But we can just buy anywhere as long as the market is moving away from this resistance. Simple as that. Or maybe when the market, uh, let's say if the market is going to come back here, around this support area then it's where we can say you know what let's buy that simple as that so we don't really have to confuse that but i think maybe we, we, we're going to have uh, enough enough uh, or maybe better structure uh, maybe later on uh, expect some maybe some sort of sell-offs guys expect them uh, because this type of aggressive move most likely the market will reject not now maybe not later but just expect that so yeah let's see let's see let's let's move to the next one uh, these things are very bullish guys we just smashed uh whoa whoa nasdaq uh gold is doing its thing gold is doing its thing here gold is doing its thing so this i kept that resistant area so that people they can see what's really happening what we see actually is that uh, the market uh, was pushing up very nicely. We had this breakout. The market kept going low, low and low. So now the market is giving us something like this. Maybe the market wants to create something like that. So we have to think about that because the market is now on a downtrend. So we have to think for what. So at the moment we can say, okay, now the market created something that we can rely on. We see this area. Uh, as a lower high uh, we see this area as a lower low do you see that so there is a possibility that the market is creating something like this 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 maybe breaking this area and continuing doing something like that then we call that a downtrend that's how the market moves so we actually have to sell around these areas maybe you can sell after the breakout you can even sell when the market comes back on the lower high so the lower low and yeah we just keep doing something like that but at the moment the market is still creating the structure so we need to wait for the structure to happen before we act because we see that that is a very nice big breakout but do we do we have a structure that we, we were supposed to follow actually no there was no structure that we were supposed to follow so that forces us to wait a little bit yes the move there can be bigger or whatever but as long as at least we can wait a little bit that is something that is something as long as we can wait for the market to give us something because we don't have to just guess things let's wait for the market to give us something and from there it's where we can do what we can say okay let's just apply our strategy on top of the structure we don't have to apply our strategy on top of nothing just imagine when we start to say oh the market is going to do this and that no that will be actually wrong we don't have to do that you see so i think maybe you understand i'm expecting the market to keep pushing lower 
I'm expecting the market to do that because now it's showing us a nice structure there. So I think the market will do that. So it's quite similar to what we might, uh, what happened actually before. You can see even this area, you can see that area. So it means the market was just doing what? The market was breaking this area, res respect, go up, respect, go up, respect. So even here we expect the same thing. You see, that's why we're supposed to wait. Then waiting is going to save you in the market. Sometimes maybe you might not make much in the market because, I mean, you might not have maybe enough trades because maybe you're following the structure or following this. Uh, you know when you follow a, a strategy or maybe some rules, mostly you are, you, you, you're you not going to have like unlimited trades, no. You're going to have limited trades because you're following something. And if you follow something, that thing doesn't just happen now and then. So it has to take its time before it happens. So this is similar to what we saw on, on, on gold. But I think maybe I should just, you see this maybe on two hours, a bit smaller time frame. So what's really happening here is quite straightforward. We see that the market was pushing nicely up break out then the market created something i just matched that with this area but you are not forced to do that you can even just say okay because this is a new area actually it should be something like this you can say okay now the market is creating something so that is something that we we used to mostly when the market breaks out the market mostly will consolidate so when the market is creating something like this you can see something like that so we just need to see if the market will keep going uh, or will keep this downtrend because we can see that we are on a downtrend uh, the once we break out of that actually we consider that a downtrend but now the market is consolidating before maybe taking a direction so if the market is going to maybe let's say push up it means we, we will say okay uh, if it's like that, we need not to jump on the market. We can say maybe after this breakout, we can have a trade, which means maybe the market is no longer defying this. I mean, it's no longer respecting the downtrend just that that just happened. Maybe the market will just keep creating another uh, bullish move. You see, that is also possible. But we need to be careful not just to jump. Uh, we don't need to jump on this because the market can still come back again here and maybe even push lower you see so what we want to make sure is let's make sure that this structure we draw it very nicely i think my laptop it's getting slower i don't know maybe there's okay i see i opened something let me close that let me close that okay maybe it will be fast so what's happening here is we can easily see that okay the market is creating a this sort of a uh, ranging market a, a ranging market actually is trying to tell you that you know what after this breakout the market is trying to decide whether it's that it wants to continue with that trend but mostly it does continue with the trend it's just that most of the time when we have this breakout the market won't just continue nicely like here nope the market won't do that the market will firstly decide uh, you can even see here the market was creating some sort of uh, ranging before the market pushed up so even here we might have the same thing and maybe the market later on might keep giving us i mean keep going down and at the end of the day the market will give us a nice a nice structure so the best thing that you can do is please don't fight the market don't just try to be that smart guy wait for the structure be patient then you will see what might happen so but i'm still thinking that this thing might be on a very nice bearish momentum but at the moment the market is still playing around please don't get caught up in this thing because mostly the market is, is going to make a lot of money uh, uh, maybe brokers or maybe interbanks because this type of rejection that happens there, you will be trapped. If you have a buy, just see what happened. You might think, oh, maybe it's a sell. When you keep selling, the market pushes up. Then you lose. You see, then you lose. So let's push the next one. Mm, yeah, this one is flying, guys. Whoa. 
So we are on US 30 and US 30 is actually flying. Actually, it's flying. But obviously, you can easily get all these trades easily here. Why? Because when the market, when the market is just, this is something that I explain every day. When the market just breaks out uh, like this, mostly the market will go crazy. Uh, if the market goes crazy like this, it's not going to be easy for us to enter. Or maybe mostly the market will just try to consolidate. If it's not this type of a consolidation, it means the market might keep flying. But mostly we already understand this type of a move because around this area, if we actually go on a bit smaller time frame, we're going to find the clues for us to get in the trade if you want to jump on the market obviously but yeah it's safe if you understand what's really happening uh, we can say let's push a little bit lower uh, we want to see if maybe we can see something yes so let me just clear this so here i was just showing someone i don't know if it's you here on a live session what's really happening here we had a very nice wedge that was broken but we're not just going to ja once the market moves above that breaks that we're just going to enter you see but unfortunately we we're focusing on on nasdaq we did not really see that i saw that when the market was already up but at the moment we have another one here we have another one there uh, which means that you know what we have an area this one was quite simple also that it's something we see that so we have an area and the market is creating that area as a sort of a resistant once the market breaks out of that actually even now i expect maybe the market to have something like this uh something like that you can see that i expect the market to create something like that why because the market created gave us a level you can see the market was a was creating this level as a resistant and once the market moves above that you can see how many hours this is one hour time frame it's like one two three f so many hours maybe almost half day actually the market was respecting that area once the market breaks out of that it's where you can say okay i can just jump on the market and take something like that but already uh just because we we were on uh we were we, actually we are on nasdaq so i'm not going to buy the US thirty and Nasdaq at once. Plus, I only focus on Nasdaq. So, for those who buy that, I can send the signals and stuff like that. So, you should have the rules and you should stick to your rules. Sometimes, when you stick to your rules, I repeat this: once you have the rules, once you stick to the rules, once you are, you know that you 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 are disciplined. Just know that the trades won't be like million trades per month or whatever. Why? Because you're waiting for the market to do this and make the market to do that. While people are trading everything, then you're just focusing on simplest thing that you can even to able to, 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 to repeat tomorrow and the other days. And that makes you to be consistent. You see. So even the losses, they become very, very low. Uh, because you're focusing on a specific structure. Not saying that maybe you're not going to lose. Sometimes, yes, we take those losses but at the end of the day uh, we can even recover and you know what what happens when you have a structure uh, when you made money today like something let's say you bought here it's easy for you to come back and repeat the same thing and still make money tomorrow you see it's easy for you to come back and do the same thing but if you just don't know you just bought and the market went in your favor tomorrow is going to be way too difficult for you to make the same money or to be consistent that's the thing that we don't really uh, want actually so i hope maybe i showed you something so on uh, on us 30 the market is pushing up and after the, uh, that there's a, a resistance that maybe you can enter above that but you can also say you know what i just need to be safer on this thing and maybe not enter anything maybe you can just wait maybe for the market to open and see what's really happening and see if maybe there is something that you can do but if uh, there's nothing it's fine it's fine uh, you can just wait maybe for a small rejection but i think the rejection can be crazy the rejection can be crazy before we see the market pushing up the market doesn't doesn't just move like that only sometimes the market will just create some way way great crazy rejection and if you're not ready for that uh, you're gonna have a serious problem uh, okay so now we are on nasdaq we all we still killing that so what's really happening on nasdaq is 
uh, let's let me just go on an hour because i think this is just straightforward especially if maybe you always watch my my daily analysis so what's really happening here is we're no longer going to talk about that downtrend because now it's outdated what we're going to talk about here is we have an area that we identify as our support area and that area uh, is quite straightforward it's quite straightforward we can see how many times the market touched that area that makes that level something that is something so why now we entered here because every time when the market comes very closer here we have to take that trade when the market comes very closer there we have to take that trade so now i thought maybe the, the market was around this area the market was around this area and i sent the buy pending order here then the market just jumped very quickly i never thought maybe this was, was going to come very uh, quick like that but if they took that trade obviously they're eating that's why i'm saying you should join the team that's why i'm saying you should join the team so i think everything is quite straightforward here because it's just an uptrend the market will create something like that until maybe we see the market break in this support area do you see this support area uh, it's when we can say okay okay the market might push lower maybe there's people who say ah kenzo is just saying stuff maybe he did not even send that signal so i just want to show you that i want to show you the signal that i've sent actually in the group uh, i'm waiting for my computer is a bit slow you see sometimes when you have this laptop before you use them you just have to restart them or something just because we just close them like non-stop we just close them the whole week without even uh without even come on i don't want people to see this uh, let me say i don't want you to see the names of these people here i just want you to see what i've sent yeah my computer is a bit slow whoa uh, this thing is slow man so okay that is the signal that i've sent you can see that i don't know if maybe you can see the signal that i've sent here uh, it's a buy stop there uh, i don't know if you can see this nicely you can see it's exactly at where it's 14104 you can see the entry was 14014 you can i don't know if i click this the last time i tried to open this was not really nice you can see the market was still going lower now the market is up around this area that's how we eat and you know what when i send the signal i also send this type of a screenshot so that you can understand why i said it's a buy and that actually helps you to understand if maybe you do your analysis now you start to learn the ways of entry the way we take trades in the market uh, because i will be showing you exactly you can see here everything's there so this is how we're supposed to do i'm not only sending only this i'm sending you i'm not sending only the details to buy sell whatever i'm also sending the screenshot so that so that you can see what i'm thinking when i say we should buy only if maybe the market i think maybe you saw something from that so only when the market maybe breaks this area we can say oh maybe the market wants to sell off but at the moment whoever who took the trade please guys don't be greedy you can lock your profits you can even get out we're not fighting the market yes we can we we expect the market to reach that area but if the market is not giving us what maybe we think we is going to give us we just appreciate every cent that the market is giving us as long as we can grow that that's going to be something so yeah i hope maybe everyone please don't forget to, su to subscribe don't forget to subscribe don't forget to smash that like button share with your friends later on we're gonna go live sessions i hope you already know i can also send that maybe in the telegram groups uh, so that you don't really miss that you see so there are my contacts whatsapp me telegram me if you want to talk to me and you know what i love is you can just join me then tomorrow you already recovered whatever that you joined that's really 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 great because if you can make let's say especially when we trade nasdaq if you can make trade uh, uh, 
if you can make uh, let's say if you can make uh, profits maybe three times in a row most most likely you're going to recover whatever the price that you've joined with mostly so which is simple to me i think that is great because as we have this winning streak like this it's great it's great even yesterday we made money on our live session even even though that later on the market started pushing lower but i understand why the market did something like that we had so much stuff netflix was just crashing actually uh, later on uh, tesla just uh, surprised everyone and everything was like bit high so that's why i think when the market opens here i'm still expecting the market to push the upside but it's 50 50 because netflix is selling off uh, tesla on the other side is doing great so that is not really good actually and if we did not have that and uh, 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 netflix selling off i think nasdaq was just going to go crazy similar way to what we see on us 30. you see so we need to 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 to, to learn to understand this but uh, remember guys later like in the evening actually i want us to make that as permanent also yeah uh, if maybe i can have enough time i should maybe have something uh, that we can have like everyday uh, sessions that we can just talk about the market you see so thank you very much guys this is kenzo extra what forex i hope you enjoying everything i hope you're gonna have a very nice very winning streak yeah thank you very much this is kenzo 